Hi, I'm Will Wright, and I'm here to tell you about a new project that I'm working on. My team at Gallium Studios is partnering with Gala Games to build an entire world that we're calling Voxverse. This is based upon the boxes that Gala Games has created, and we're theming an entire world in that style. The world itself is actually going to be in the shape of a cube, you know, very much like the Vox look. This is not only going to be a world for games, but also a place for other games to live. There will be portals to other Gala games like Mirandas, Townstar, that you can bring your Vox into these games and back out to Voxverse. Voxverse is going to be kind of like the place where your Vox lives. This world is going to be very multifaceted. We'll have different biomes, environments like desert, mountain, ocean, jungle. There'll be a large central city that the players help construct. Plus there'll be districts that are themed like Western, medieval, etc. Almost everything in this world is actually going to be constructed by the players. We're going to have very simple tools for the players to construct buildings, objects, vehicles, etc. There'll be a whole economy, resources you can mine, plots that you can own, plus a social side of the game where you build a social network with all of the other boxes that you meet. And it won't just be box holders in this world. We'll have you know much more casual players that don't own a box yet that can come in and participate and play in the world as well. Now I'd like to spend some time going through a little bit more detail in kind of what this world is and how you will play in it. Let me give you a little more detail now about this project. I've been studying the Vox, and of course they're very cubic, you know, short little squat creatures. So we decided to make their world a giant cube as well, with different environments, but still a very interesting topology. The top of the cube is going to be where the central city, which we call Voxopolis, is going to be placed. On every side of this cube, we basically have different environments, jungle, mountain, ocean, desert. But of course, the cube has six sides. The thing is, we don't talk about the bottom side. Now, on this cube, there'll be resources distributed. Some you know, areas will be very rich in a certain resources, other ones very poor. For instance, you can only find spice in the desert or silicon in the ocean. Uh, other ones will be a little bit more even. But if I live in the desert, I can obviously mine more spice and I can silicon. So there'll be a lot of trading going on between these different resources. On the top of the cube, and this is a very large area, it's about four miles on the side, so it's very large. A lot of different districts which are seen, and this will the way architecture looks, the way the environment looks. It'll be hot and dusty in a western area. Horror will be dark and spooky. Plus we'll have like fantasy forest, uh, medieval, and of course the central city of Oxopolis here. And there'll be road networks connecting all these as well. But because it's such a large world, we need a fast mass transit system, which we will have train stations in every district and should, should be able to get across the world pretty rapidly on this. Of course, because it's a cube, you know, when it gets to the edge, the train has to actually go under to a tunnel to get to the other side. And if you were to walk off the edge of that cube, you would fall free fall until you hit the gravity well on the other side and fall flat on your face. So we can actually change the rules of physics because we control the world. Lots, you know, the players will build, you know, will come in different sizes. We'll have very large, rare lots, very common small lots. And between those, we will, you know, basically have city-owned lots where we build things like the road network, city parks, fountains, whatever. Constructing stuff within this world, we're actually using this thing, a uh, technique called shape grammar. And rather than having you use a 3D program to design your house, or your car, or whatever, uh, you'll actually kind of pick a blueprint to begin with, and it will mutate and show you mutations or variants of that. I pick a variant, it'll mutate that. And so just with several clicks, I can design a very unique structure, vehicle, couch, coffee cup, whatever. So we're trying to basically make most of the world, most of the things you see in this world, constructed and designed by the players. There'll be a lot of activities in this world. Right now, the Vox Odyssey thing, people are already collecting resources that can be used eventually in the Voxverse. There'll also be jobs. We'll allow people to actually create businesses, employ other Voxes, um, or work at a job. Uh, one of the interesting things here is that uh, even when you're offline, your Vox is still going to be online as an NPC. So when I'm offline, my Vox can still be working at a job and earning me money, or mining resources out here, or just staying at home, resting, filling their motives. We'll have events within Voxopolis, you know, which will be the cultural center initially. As the districts start developing denser and denser, they'll have their own cultural events. But we'll have things like music events, art events, uh, clubs forming, that kind of thing, social groups. Economically, there are going to be really four main economies in this game. Things, money, time, and social. Basically, I can obviously mine resources, trade those for money, build things, acquire more things. I spend my time pushing these out, but the social economy is probably the most important one. Every time you meet a Vox in Vox first, it establishes a relationship between you and that Vox. Eventually, it'll actually graph the social network of all the Voxes that you've met. But your relationship can start very weak, can get stronger and stronger, but it also can go from good to bad. 
So depending on how you interact with that Vox, you know, you will actually end up with a different relationship which will impact your global reputation. Right here we have liked, trusted, feared, famous. And depending on how you balance those factors, you can actually go for a totally different role in the game. For instance, if you want to be a crime lord, you might want to be go for you know famous and feared. If you want to be a popular entertainer, you might want to be liked and famous. I know it's a lot, but uh, we'll tell you more later. So now I think you have a better sense of the world that we're building. A few more of the details. As you can see, it's a pretty elaborate project. We really want to invite you in you know, to help us build this world because that's what's going to make it really cool and interesting. You know, we're hoping that Voxverse will really fulfill our aspirations, but it's going to be up to our players to help us do that. Again, I'm Will Wright, and I thank you for watching this. Goodbye.